Hey guys, this is David, and I'm going to do my first unboxing in a little while today because I have a desperate need to open some crap up because I just have too many things and they are covering the floors and the couches and all of the other surfaces in the house. So today I'm going to be opening up this figure of Chaos from Sonic the Hedgehog. He is the primary villain of Sonic Adventure 1 as I remember it. If you ask me what like Chaos was all about, I could not tell you. I just remember he turned into a giant like water monster type dude and Sonic had to fight him while there was cool like rock music playing. But let's take a look here at the back of the package and then like we uh, it shows Sonic and Chaos and Amy and Big the Cat who are the other characters in this assortment. Uh, and the back of the package tells us a little bit about Chaos, who has 13 points of articulation, and his bio reads as an ancient god whose power flows as it consumes the negative energy of the Chaos Emeralds. So here is the text on the back of the package here for Chaos. I don't know if I remember this stuff about negative energy in the Chaos Emeralds, but I trust it happened in Sonic Adventure 1. So I'm just going to rip this open. This figure was a little bit of a difficult find. I only found two of these over the course of like six months. I sent one to my friend James Bennington. And this is the other, and now it's been opened up, so I can uh, recycle this packaging. But here we have Chaos. He is here, and he comes with a Chaos Emerald that seems unusually large. I don't think it's properly scaled. I think it might be tied in with something. Is it tied in with something? I don't think so. I don't think it ties in the back. All right, so here is the Chaos Emerald. It is translucent, like clear green. It's the proper shape. I don't think it is scaled properly. It has this like weird like little dot on the bottom, which I think is from how it had to be assembled or something from manufacturing, because I don't think it's on model to what actually appears in the game, this little dot at the bottom. But otherwise, you know, it's a cool size. I like to hold it. Like if I could drain the negative energy from this, maybe I could turn into a dark rod like chaos and here's the chaos figure itself which is are there twisty ties on this yes there are but i'm gonna try to get him out despite the twisty ties because i don't have a knife or any scissors or anything on here with me oh my god oh turns out maybe i'm not gonna be able to get him out of the package without actually making some cuts and as much as I hate to do it, it seems that for this first unboxing, I'm going to have to go back to doing a quick edit and uh, cut him out of here, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, here is Chaos. He is next to the Jazzwares Charmy B and this random Scrooge McDuck figure for scale. Uh, you can see that he kind of loosely fits in if you happen to have this Scrooge McDuck figure from I don't know what company. Maybe it's also Jazzwares, maybe it's Mattel. I don't really remember who had this DuckTales license. And here you can see that like he is properly-ish scaled to Charmy B, who is smaller than Chaos, but I don't know if he's absolutely perfectly scaled. But here's the Chaos figure. His joints, like it, I was worried that he had these big claws that like they're going to be super loosey goosey, but actually, like his arms have a decent amount of tightness to them. He's got hinge joints at his uh, elbows, so you can bend them. His head can turn some, it can't really look up and down at all. Like there might be like one degree of movement here, it kind of wobbles if I kind of force it, but it's not moving all that much. Like uh, he has the normal leg articulation of being able to. Does he have the normal leg articulation? Well, actually, his legs don't move all that much, but he does have a swivel upon his feet. You can see, like, like that I'm trying to push here on his legs, and they're just not moving back very much. So he does have a limited range of motion, but he looks very cool with his translucent blue uh, clear plastic and the yellow eyes on him. Like, I think this is one of the neater-looking Sonic figures the Jazz Wars have done. Uh, he's got the ball jointed uh swivel uh, knees here as well if you want to put him into a weird like i don't know pose where his legs are like off to the side like that for some reason i don't know why like this is not the most exciting figure to play with but i do really like the way that this chaos figure looks i'm glad that i picked him up i have big i have amy i have silver i have a lot more that i also still need to unbox so if anybody wants to see any of those unboxed just uh you know leave a comment let me know tell me what you would like to see unboxed but 
overall, like, I think this is an okay figure. Like, I don't know if it was worth the many, 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 many trips to Target I made looking to get a couple of these, but I'm glad that I have Chaos. I don't know that Jazzverse is going to release him too frequently because he is not a big name villain or anything, but I think this is a cool figure with an okay, like, head. Like, that's really all they needed, a head and the hands and feet to make this a unique character. I think they could probably use a lot of the mold that they already had from other figures. But this is Chaos, so if you're looking for him, here he is. I like him okay. He gets a thumbs up from me. Okay.